Hello everyone, my name is Peter, and in today's Scratch tutorial, we're going to be making a couple fish swim across the screen and come back the other side. So, this might seem simple, but there's actually a lot you can learn from this, so please stick around and watch till the end. First things first, um, we have an underwater backdrop here with several different types of fish. You can actually get these from the Scratch library, so if you go to choose a backdrop down here and search through here, you can find some underwater backdrops that you like. And if you want to find some fish sprites, you can go to choose a sprite and search in this bar, just search up fish, and a bunch of sprites will come up. So that's very useful if you want to use that. Now onto the code. For the first fish, I'll just be looking at this little clownfish down here. Basically, here's how it goes. The first block here, we're setting the x to negative 280. That means the x value of this fish is going to be behind here, so you're not going to be able to see it until it swims across and gets into view. Now, in this forever loop, we have an if statement, if, if then else statement. And what this is looking for is if the x position is greater than 280. Now, what that means is whenever this fish crosses the line where it becomes past 280, then the stuff inside here will happen. And what happens inside is the x is set back to two, negative 280, so it becomes off the screen again, and then the y is set to a random number between negative 180 and negative 120. I'll explain what that does later, but now let's look at the else. Basically what this is, is just changing the speed by whatever amount. In this case, it's 5. So, why do we use this pick random, and what, are these, what do these numbers even mean? So, basically, if you don't have this, there's a chance for a fish to actually run into each other and not, and just run into each other, and it might not look good. And what this does is we're setting a range for where the fish actually want to be on the y-axis. What this does is basically, if you imagine it like this, let's say all these four fish are in four different lanes. The top lane, the one under that, the one under that, and then the bottom lane. These lanes are where all the fish will swim through, so none of them crash into each other. So how we do this is by taking this set y, and we're setting this value from negative 180 to negative 120. This allows the fish to swim in somewhere between those two numbers, and they will not run into the, another fish. Now let's look, to the, let's look at the next fish. This one is slightly different because we first hide it, wait 1.5 seconds, and then we show it. We do this because we want, to, we want this fish to be slightly behind the first fish, precisely 1.5 seconds behind. Now, in this forever loop, we're setting the x position to wait until it's greater than 278. This number comes from where the fish can last be, where the fish can last be when it's totally off the screen on this side. So once this fish is completely off the screen, that means the x has reached greater than 278. Now inside this if, we're doing something very similar to the first fish, setting the x back to negative 280, and then setting the y to a random number between these two numbers, which are negative 80 and negative 20. Similar to the first fish, negative 80 and negative 20 allow this fish to swim in the lane that is right in between these two, so somewhere in this area. And if it does that, then it won't hit, and it won't run into any other fish. The only other difference here is that we're changing the x by 6.5 this time. This makes it slightly faster than the first fish. The third fish and the fourth fish are very similar, but they just start slightly later and have slightly different speeds. Now, the set y is also different because this fish stays in this lane and this fish stays in this lane. Basically, you can think of it as four different roads and each fish is traveling down its own road. If you look at this, if you look at the stage and you split it into four bars, one, two, three, four, each fish is going down its own bar. So each fish won't run into another fish. Now that you know the basics of this, you can make your own project similar to this using the same, using similar blocks or using your own sprites that you want to make yourself. Remember, if you have any questions or any ideas, Post them in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thanks, and see you next time.